you guys. I've got the pack number two of the Lilith's Pet Shop trading card fun packs. There are six packs in all to collect. Um, eight items inside, including trading cards, tattoos, trivia, scratch-offs, and more. And I got this, as you can see, for 98 cents at the store. I already opened up pack number one, and if you missed that video, there should either be a link in the description box below, or I might have an annotation up right now, so look into that if you have not already. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up and check out what's inside. And we begin with Penny, which is a puzzle piece and on the back. That's what that looks like. And then we start with Russell Ferguson. Uh, Russell is a pet with a plan. When it's time to spring into action, this hedgehog is ready to roll out. Proud of his hedgehog heritage, though he's often mistaken for a porcupine, he uses his analytic skills to solve all the pet's great dilemmas. Although Russell can have a tendency to overcomplicate things once in a while. Uh, he's a hedgehog, his special skill is rolling in a ball, and his favorite accessory is a clipboard. And then he's got a high rolling score there, and his organization is also high. Okay. Then we have Free Money Fashion Show. This is episode two, Blythe's Big Adventure part two. Uh, the twins want to make sure the pet fashion show does not succeed, since closing the littlest pet shop would mean the Biscuit's largest of ever pet shop will be the only game in town. They post flyers offering free money to attendees, thinking that the crowd will turn on Blythe when she can't deliver. Instead, the Blythe style show is a big hit. And pet texting SYS is see you soon. And what the what trivia? You've got what do biscuits plan to dump on the stage during the show? Kiloliter and chocolate icing. And what color is Penny's dress? It is green with yellow trim. And the quote there is, we got to do something to ruin it, from Whitney. And then we've got Pepper. And the word scramble. Pause on it so that you can try to figure it out. I already know the second one. And they are skunk odor and comedy. And this who am I's, which Lilith's pet is that by their eye. And it is Sunil. And was there anything? Ah, yes. The catwalk talk. From the fluff of her feathers to the tip of her nose, Pepper's playful outfit will have you grinning from ear to ear. The stylish wig and the hat uh, top it off nicely. And then we have Mrs. Twombly. Uh, Mrs. T is the cat's meow. She runs Lilith's pet shop and day camp with loving care. She thinks Blythe is the bee's knees and is thrilled to offer Blythe style pet fashions to her customers. She can be a little clueless at times and hasn't caught on that Blythe can talk to the pets yet. She's a pet store owner. Uh, special skill is getting confused. Um, favorite accessory is doorknobs. Okay, she's interesting. And she's got a high level of quirkiness and a low level of meanness. And we've got, oh my god, we could be BFFs. Episode 5, Penny Fear Laughs. The Biscuit twins are so grateful when Blythe saves them from humiliation at basketball practice they make her like their new BFF. Blythe can't help getting wrapped up in the glitz and glamour of it all with perks like a gold lunch invite, um... And 21 Berry Salad. She eventually remembers that being a biscuit is not a very nice thing to be and goes back to her old friends. The pet texting, way to go, WTG. And we got what the what trivia. What does Blythe accidentally insult, or who does Blythe accidentally insult at the mall? That is Sue. And as you probably see the answer for number two already, but what does Sue ask Blythe never to say again? BFF. And the quote. Ooh, help, the round ball thing is going to get me. And then we've got the fun tats here. And the scratch-offs. Um, 
And this is the daily scratch off of one week of song and dance. I'm just going to try to scratch them all off at once. see how I did here. And Sunday is Dancing with the Littlest Pets, Make Up a Dance with Pet Steps like Leaping Lizard, Shark Shake, and Russell Roll. Uh, Monday, Learn a Classic like The Waltz. It's as easy as one, two, three, one, two, three, you grab your mom and glide around the room. Uh, Tuesday, Have a Sock Hop Dance Party. Invite everybody to find some crazy footwear and dance your socks off. Wednesday, write a song about your favorite littlest pet, like Groove and Gecko, then perform it for your family. Thursday, pet tunes. Pick a simple song and then bark or meow all the words. Next, try Happy Birthday or Jingle Bells with Oinks or Moos. Friday, learn Zoe's song, Dance Like You Know You Can, put on a beret and make a video. And Saturday, pick a stage name, Jazzy Jasmine or The Great Greta. Now make a concert poster starring you. Alright, so that is it for the... Uh, pack number two. I guess it's not on there anymore. And check out the opening of pack number one if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and check out my Littlest Pet Shop uh, playlist. And check out thegamecapital.com for all of your trading card game and toy needs. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time.